move on to Illamasqua. Now, Illamasqua for me at the moment is one of my all-time favourite lipstick brands along with MAC. Now, I only own two Illamasquas and two MACs, one of which is a plush gloss, which doesn't really count. But they are my favourites, long-lasting, and I like the matte look really really nice if you want it to be a glossy look add a gloss basically um and this is the illamasqua one and i just love the packaging it's just so thick look at it amazing balls and this one funnily enough both of my illamasquas are purple one i bought myself which online it looks a lot darker than that so i brought it thinking it was like a really deep um, I don't even know, like a plum, but it's not. It's like a lilac, but I'm not complaining. My hand is going to be very, very colourful very soon. Um, oh, that's in the shade Control, by the way. Control with a K, because that's just original. Um, and that's that one down there. Again, it's a nice shade. I haven't actually worn it yet, that's really bad, but... Um, second Illamasqua shade. This is in the shade ESP. And I wore it in my... What video did I wear it in? I think it was my January Glossy Box video. I think. So if you want to check that out. Go ahead. And I'll put that one underneath the other one. Now this one... It's weird, it's like when you put it on, it's almost too tonal and it's not as creamy, it's almost like a sh in the consistency is between a shimmer and a matte. So it's not as smooth to put on and it's not as matte as a matte lipstick. It's really weird, it's so difficult to describe but you can see the two purples there next to each other and you can see what I mean, like the reflection that it gives off is almost too tonal. Do you know what I mean? Right. Uh, the next one is MAC. And this was given to me as a present. So my first lipstick from MAC was a present. Thanks. Um, and this is a satin um, effect. And it's in the shade Amorous. You'll see like a theme with my lipstick. I'm sure you'll catch on soon enough. And it's in that shade. And I'll swatch that underneath the last purple one, or on top as I show you on the camera. There. God, that orange looks so out of place now. Anyway. Um, and then, I can't show you this because it's a gloss, but um, it's the MAC Plush Glass Pretty Plush. And this smells fit. A lot of the time I just take it out to smell it. I don't even put it on. But, um, yeah. Oh, God, I'm these balls. I don't even know what it smells of, but it smells good. And it's like... Can you see? It's like shimmery, sheery, yeah, over another colour. In fact, I have been wearing over a colour so much that it's tinged the applicator. That was once white. Next one I got, I think it was in TK Maxx, and they have, you know, like the bargain bins? And I was literally just like, oh, let's see what I can get, because I'm a bit obsessed with lipsticks. Um, and I saw this one, and it was like a pound or something, so I thought, oh, I don't even, I don't even really know the brand, but I thought, what the hey? And I haven't even worn it that much, but um, it's Asta. Um, Shine Deluxe and it's in this shade it's like it's got like a weird shimmeriness to it oh that's and it's very glossy like sticky consistency which I'd forgotten that's not that good that's that there next one is 17 and it's in the shade, oh actually does that one have a shade? Ruby. Um, this one is in the shade Day Glow. And it's quite pink. 
I always buy pinks, like shocking pinks and stuff, and then I'm like, am I actually going to wear this? What was the point? There's a couple like this. Do you see what I mean? It's it's very like kapow. If I ever dress up as a Barbie, sorted. Next one again, seventeen, but different packaging. Um, and this is mold wine, and that's like this. I feel like I was gonna punch the camera then. Um, and that one is underneath the one or on top as I look at it on the camera. That one there. So very pinky. Look at that. What the hell? Should have brought a face wipe in, but I didn't. Like a boob.